What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to part one of our Let's Play for Lies of P. This is a game I am super, super excited for. Ever since I had a chance to play the demo, I've been looking forward to it. Definitely one of the best indie Souls likes I think I have seen so far. So let's hope the full game stacks up because I got some mighty high expectations here. Whether the game can uh, can meet those expectations, well, that remains to be seen. This all looks good. Nope, no one likes motion blur. Turn that off. Good, good, good. Let's check graphics. Borderless, 144. Good, good, good. All right. I think we are ready to rock and roll. Let's get to it. We are playing on PC for those curious. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Same start as the demo. Oh wait, benefit was delivered. What was it? Ah, the great Venigi glasses, signature coat, and a mask worn by those preparing for a festival. Can I put those on right now? Probably not. I think I need to. No, I can. Oh yeah. Move to equipment. Oh, here we go. Let's see how it looks. Oh man, that's stylish. Yeah, let's put it on. All right, what about accessory? Can I have some glasses? Oh god, there ain't no way I'm doing that. But I like the glasses. Let's put those on. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I see they caught Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Select upper lower use belt item. Hold down to activate the extra bag. Use item. Okay, so the lamp is definitely an extra bag type thing. What is this? Last resort. Immediate character death. We're going to remove that right now. Don't ever want that on. Um, what did I use for lamp in Elden Ring? I think it was down. Uh, or was it up? I think it was down on the D-pad. Let's do that. Heal in the upper belt. Grinder in the lower belt. I think that makes sense. So I'm actually playing on a 3080 right now. My 40, 4090 decided to uh, crap itself out, so that got RMA'd. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. I have the preview disabled, but it hotel. looks like it's running smooth on my end. Hopefully the capture looks good. Uh, so we are going to go balance, mainly because... I plan on doing a, uh, a technique, or no, not a technique, a uh, advance oriented build, which is going to be good for like the elemental type stuff. And so I figure taking a uh, an equal amount of motivity and technique will be useful. So vitality, health, uh, vigor is stamina, capacity is weight, motivity is strength, technique, dex, and advance. Think of it like, um, you know, arcane, I guess. I know a lot of people want to know if I'm going to be doing a walkthrough. we got to get through the Let's Play first, but from what I have experienced of this game, I think it has strong walkthrough potential for sure. 
but I want to get get more through it before I, uh, you know. But sometimes, I mean, Armored Core, I figured I might have been doing a walkthrough for that, and it turned out to be very much just not necessary, so. Right. Bumper is working pretty well. My left bumper has been messing up lately. Now, obviously, this is what we had a chance to play in the demo, the public demo that everyone had, so... I like that little spin, that little spin hit on that dodge. That was good. Yeah, we're gonna... The, the start of this, we're probably gonna blast through it pretty quick. damage will be transferred to guard or regain. It accumulates but gradually decreases over time. An attack to recover. Triggers perfect guard. He will not only receive he will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can perfect guard to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy into staggerable. Okay. I mean we went through a lot of this but I still I I kinda burned through the demo and so I wanna really want to take my time read everything, make sure I'm not overlooking any mechanic, just thinking, you know, I played the demo, I know what I'm doing. We gotta, we're gonna take our time with this, make sure we get a firm grasp of all the mechanics. I think I wanna say we go... Yeah, let me try and take that guy out first. there. Thermite. Ah, yeah, it's a little janky. So my controller, um, you know, I, I play a lot of games, obviously. I play more games than most people, and you can see how my, my block's a little bit iffy right now. That's not the game. My controller's left bumper is finally on the way out, so I already ordered a new one, which, which actually, that should, I know it's Wednesday, okay. Never mind, that'll be here tomorrow, but I didn't want to, like, not play, so we're gonna try and get through what we can. If I hit it like right at the very top, it'll work. So I'll just have to be very precise. I usually tap it like right on the edge and like sometimes it's working, but other times it does a little partial. So I'll have to give it like very firm presses. It's one of the only things I don't like about the, uh, the Xbox controllers in general, it fits into my hand a lot better than PlayStation's. So I'm a big fan of it, but the the bumpers on the Xbox controllers. Those are usually the, the first to go, I find. Which is not hard to replace them. Like, you can pop open the controller and pop that little thing off and put a new one in fairly easy. But on the Elite controllers, where they have the, the rubber, it's a bit more of a pain in the ass to do. I don't remember what you even gotta do. I think it's like you need to I remember you have to like get under the rubber. Ah, I was looking at the back of the controller. It's like you need to get under the rubber to, to pop it, or I think you can go like right between it maybe and pop the case off, but it's it's a pain. So I've gotten to the point now where instead of replacing the bumpers, I just like get a new controller like almost every year. Which I mean seems like a waste of money, but at the same time you consider I'm somebody that plays, you know thousands and thousands of hours of the game per year. I think it works out. It's not as heavy of an investment as you would think, you know? Uh, what do we got here? Some throwing objects, draw attention, and a little bit of thermite. Let's put that on. I ain't taking a death to the big boy if I got a thermite in my will. He doesn't notice this yet. Let's get this shortcut open. This is right at the start. 
Fable Catalyst. It's for my Fable Arts. Which, what are my Fable Arts with this? We have Storm Slash and Concentrate. Slash an enemy in front of you multiple times. Increase attack temporarily. Okay. and workshop union lightweight frame. Very nice. My new equipment defense part slots. My new sawtooth wheel. So my weight will go up slightly. Physical defense reduction rate will go up. Okay, so the left number is the actual stat. The right number is the increase. So I'm going up 4.25 to 11.61. Uh, checking character info, switch display, 64.2, okay, no, our weight ratio is at 50%, so we're fine, that's a flat out upgrade, no reason to not use it. Stamina, charge, pulse cells. You arrive at this point in case of death. It revives enemies, not just your character. Let's go around the courtyard, grabbing the, the loot that's out here first. This was above me, I didn't even see him. Man, Saber is doing some work. I know I tried everything out back in the beta, but didn't give like a ton of time. 116 on a running attack. 104 on the normal running attack. Normal running is pretty good. citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. Remember, I think I go that way. I want to say I go right. Let me check this path. Maybe I do. No, you know what? That's the path. That's a shortcut that I get later, I believe. Yeah. Harry window is very tight still. Ooh. Oh my god, bro. I'm about to say, I was like, I'm not dying to your garbage. That's not a short... Use a belt item. Use throw object for long range attack. Did I pick up something besides just the, the little... The junks? Oh, just junks. Okay. Try 
trying to remember. I don't think we can use Ergo yet. I don't know. No, yeah, she that's right. She puts she puts some of her power into the stargazer, so we can. It's called a stargazer. As we are, we are not strong. Gather Ergo, but the stargazer's strength. Okay, so since I plan on going for advanced, let's put some points there. Um, let's get our. Hmm, maybe I should hold off on it for now. Focus on just health and vigor. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let's see, so vigor, you're doing. We're getting. Six points, five points, five points, five points. Oh, those are big gains. 283 up to 304. Three is 23, so that's what, 11 points? 20, 20 points? Hold up, 20 points. No, it's 19 points. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna focus Vitality and Vigor for now. So, Legion Arm. No, my current Legion Arm is Motivity and Technique Split. Let's do that. I think that's that's a safe bet. You can't go wrong with focusing health and stamina. It's like I want to practice my parries, but at the same time I feel like it's smarter to just fight my way through these guys fast, you know? Oh god. Ran out of stamina there. That's the shortcut, okay. You know what? Let me put on these little things since I can use them to. Oh wow! It does a it does a little chunk of damage. take a little bit of practice to get that. I tried to I tried to block that, but I didn't like instant one uh I didn't want to spin around to get the block. About these. Can't dodge or guard, but you can perfect guard. Nope, didn't mean to use that. Trying to throw a thing to get his attention.
getting this parry down. Oh, I just noticed how it's slow the stamina regens. It's not very really good. We're definitely going to pump that bar up. I think, if I remember, I believe that's like a instant, uh, yeah, instant weapon durability. Um... Let me do the lantern here, and then I'll put that there. If I if I absolutely need it, like oh man, I gotta heal. Definitely not stingy with the Fable Catalysts. They are dropping those left and right. Coming up on the carnival. See if I can upgrade from this Stargazer too. Actually, I don't think I even have enough to upgrade, even if I want. Let's find out. Oh yeah, 862. If I pop my thingies, I can probably get two levels actually. And let's get this up. Here we go. I haven't even used my legion arm yet.
Oh, no. Oh, come on, bro. No, stop. I gotta get out of this corner. Ooh. Come on. Do I go for this? How hard is he gonna hit? No, 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 stay away. Oh, God, I almost pinched myself in the corner. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have enough juice. I need him to do an attack. Come on, big attack. No! Ah! I was trying to perfect block that one. What they're saying is because it's puppet language, just in case somebody thinks I hit the game in Japanese or something. Punch! Punch! I completely freaking- nope, come on. Oh, I did not expect that kind of spin to win, what are you doing? Oh no, I'm out of juice. kind of ergo with different colors of vibration. I think I came from the other way? Yeah, I think I go this way. Yeah, hotel cry. All right. I cannot break those boxes. <laughs> There's a limit to the boxes that can be broken. I probably could have first attempted that if I remembered to uh remember to use my, my damn Legion arm. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. These puppets can't lie, but Pinocchio can. It's kind of cool to actually see this finally. I remember when they first announced this, you know, Dark Pinocchio game, very Bloodborne vibes. It was like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it works out. And like, no, they actually made like a legit ass looking game.
human. Are reacting. Lies of P. Intro credits, you don't see a lot of that these days. So they discovered some kind of crystal. They started putting the crystal into the bodies of puppets. That led to the creation of the workshop. That led to the flourishing of society. That led to essentially slave labor from puppets. Murdering their hosts and masters, the puppet massacre began. Dead bodies line the streets. As a reminder, the puppets beat people with stop signs to tell them to stop making puppets work. But one magical butterfly would change it all. waifu and they spend a lot of time on the waifu they're like we're gonna give her a little bit of ronnie vibes people like the blue hair i'm so happy to see you i am sophia i've been waiting for you searched all over the city of crop to find you you must have questions Japan was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Level up. All right, so. Gemini. Gemini is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase. Turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. All right, we're going to look at that in a second. Uh, but let's wrap up things here for now. I want to check the first episode, make sure that the recording went well, make sure that audio levels are good, all that stuff. And uh, assuming everything's good to go, y'all can expect part two a little bit later today.